Welcome back to the Women's Palace. If you're new, I'm Shanice and I'm a Kingdom of God ambassador as well as a motivational speaker and a life coach. If you're not new, welcome back. I am super excited to have you guys here. I want to invite you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video and leave your comments down below and become a part of the family. Okay, that was a low full, but we got through it. So today I was... Like I said, God been really speaking to me and he gave me revelation. He had me watch the Passion of Christ and how Jesus said, forgive them because they know not what they do. I got revelation. Why did God say that? People don't understand when you are doing the work of him who sent you. When people come against you, they don't even realize that they're coming against God. This is all goes back to consciousness. This is why people are destroyed because of their lack of knowledge. They allow they allow the enemy to use them because they don't know what's taking place. See, God had to make me realize this stuff ain't even about you. It's what's within you. You ever heard the saying, it's, it's not on me, it's in me. People hate what's in you because they can't take it away. See, people can put on a little fake glissity and this and this and that and still not have it in them. They're putting on the front. But see, when it's in you, you ain't got to have nothing in it shows. And people don't like that. So they're coming against you, not realizing they're coming against God. Because it's God who sent you to do the work. So it's God's work. Even trip when people curse your name, like rejoice. He says rejoice when you get persecuted for the, for the work. Rejoice, because that shows that you're doing my work. Anybody that's doing, you got to think about Jesus. He was doing the one he was doing the work of who sent him and they hated his guts. Why? Because the world likes the dark. So when the light comes to the scene, they like, hold on. Not knowing God is in the facility. Because it's God's light. God is the light. So when people come against you, they're coming against the light. And God be like, I take that personal. Because this, this, this me. You feel me? You coming against what I'm doing. Now you want to put, you want to run up on me in your ignorance. Like you don't know who I am. Like I ain't the one who made you. You feel me? Yeah, I gave you your little free will and all that. I told you you can do what you do, but I, I didn't tell you the consequences of running up on me. Like you, 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 you're not smart. Like you're not wise enough to know who I am. Like I said, this is bigger than the vessels God used. Because sometimes people can get so caught up on the vessel that they don't realize who's backing the vessel. This ain't got nothing to do with the vessel. So when people put themselves in this battle, that they not going to win. Baby, you can't go against God and think you're going to win. But see, this is how ignorant these people are. They allow the enemy to use them to try to turn off the light, not realizing the light can't be turned off. They don't even realize what's taking place in the spiritual. You coming against God. But see, I always say the enemy is the type. He going to push you into the battle and then run away. So when God pull up to the scene and come knock on the door about his, because one thing you have to realize, God don't play about his kids. You think about, you think about what, you feel me? If you got kids, baby, God be having to help me because I know. I be mean, like, you have this love so much for your child, you will be ready to fight a kid. Like, baby, I fight kids. Like, you feel me? So how do you think God feel? God always bring me back to, I always want you guys to put in your mind a picture. You guys are my children. Not everybody is God's children. It says that in the Bible. Some, ch some people are father, children of the devil. You feel me? But God's children, he don't play about them. He will pull up to your door, to your front door about his. But people don't see that. I'll show you who he is. He got to show you this one right here, this me. You feel me? You coming for them. Like you don't, because I. you got to think about it. It's him who sent you. So if he sent you, it's his work. I hope you guys are really getting this because God had to make me realize, see, we always put our, when we get persecuted and we doing all this, we, we kind of get, Oh my gosh, I got to respond. This is not your battle. The battle, this is the Lord's battle. He says that. This is my battle. I use you as a vessel because I need a body in this world. 
But see, sometimes people can be so in this world that they don't even realize they're not of this world. They don't know what's taking place in the background. And that's why God, that's why Jesus said, forgive them, Father, because they don't even know what they doing to me. They doing it unto you. And God going to take that personal. Oh, you, you talking, you, you, you mocking me? You throwing dirt on my name? God is not mocked. God is not mocked. So I want you guys to be able to realize when people come for you, they're coming for God. So allow God to fight the battle because this, ba this battle was never yours in the first place. See, you're the vessel. This is why Jesus said, they're going to hate you for my name's sake. See, this got something to do with me. We in the dark. People get so caught up on the sun. We are in the dark. This world is a dark and evil place. And the world loves the dark because they were born into it. So when the light pops off, which is the light of this world, God's children, they can't comprehend it. Who is coming on turning on the lights? So they're trying to turn off your light. They trying to turn off your light. They trying to get you to get far away from God so you can be in the pitch black with them. But see, God takes that personal. Because my will, he said, my will will prevail. So now you're playing with my will. You feel me? And I hope y'all really taking this in because the way God gave it to me, he wants his children to stop getting so caught up on what people are saying to you, what people are doing to you, what people are sending your way. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. But people, people just bypass that situation. They put in com See, people just think touch, physical touch. Baby, that's your words. That's what you're sending in your spirit. I always go back to life and death is in the power of your tongue. You are speaking out fiery darts to people and you think you're not touching them? And I think God is really having me talk about this because we're coming into a season where persecution is going to be real. Persecution is going to be real because it's the end times. People are not going to want to hear the gospel. People are not going to want to, like I said, they love the dark. They want to shut off the light. Shut up. Why are you talking about this? You trying to have more people turn on the light? Because as you know, if we get more people to turn on the light, Turn on the light that's within them. Access, how connect, put their self back in right standing with God so that light can be back on. The world is going to light up. And they don't want that. And I say this because I don't want people to get so caught up on what people say and taking it to heart. Dust that stuff off. It don't have nothing to do with you. They just got to find words to be able to get at you. And that's what God had to make me realize. You got to strengthen your inner man. You got to get strong because you got to understand that people are going to come for you. They're going to come for all type of stuff, stuff that try to hit your heart. They're going to come for your kids, baby. They're going to come for it all because they want to turn off their light. If they can be like, this is too much, God, I can't do it. And you move away from God, your light off. God, like, bypass that stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you. Some of the stuff they talking about, they been made up in their head. They, they come out the side. They be lying, talking about all type of stuff. They just trying to get you to turn off their light. And that's why you got to have that tough skin so you can, you can continue to persevere through it all and understand this is not my battle. This don't have nothing to do with me. They persecuting me for his name's sake. But guess what? I ain't got to clap back. I ain't got to go back and forth with you because the one who sent me going to pull up to your door. Let people talk. Forget them because they know not what they do. They don't even know they rolling up on God like that. They don't even know that God with you. So everything they doing to you, they doing unto him. That's how ignorant these people are. Pray for them. That's why you say pray for your enemies because they don't even understand what they, they don't understand what they doing until they do it and God pull up and they like, uh, uh, don't know what to say today. They don't have nothing to say. Like, oh, I just know. No. You feel me? Pray for them people because they don't need it. That's why, that's why Jesus said forgive them because they don't even know the worldwide trouble they put themselves in. They don't, they don't even know the battle that they allowed the enemy to put them in pray for them people and understand this ain't got nothing to do with you the battle is the lord's you are a vessel and they're going to try to kill the vessel off so the light can turn off 
be strong, be thick skinned it. Be I don't even know if that's a word. Be thick and skin, okay? And I don't even know if that's a word, but we're going to say that's a word. You got to get to a point in your life where you understand exactly what's taking place. So when it happens, dust that stuff off your shoulder. Dust that stuff off your shoulder. This ain't got nothing to do with me. What you're doing is bigger than you. And that's what God always takes me back to. What I'm doing through you is bigger than you. Stop getting so caught up on yourself. And Father, they did this to me. Well, they did it to me first. You know, don't even don't even worry about them people. Don't worry about them people. Because, baby, they got more to be worried about than you when they put their name on you, when they spreading lies, when they spreading rumors, when they commenting under your video, cursing your name with their words. They got more to be worried about. Pray for them people because they're going to need your prayers because they don't even know what they're doing. So forgive them. Forgive them, because in your ignorancy, if that's a word, you don't even realize you just ran up on the God of this universe, the one who created you and me in this world. But, you know, since you in the dark, the enemy got your mind blinded. I'm going to just go on and forgive you because you don't even know what you're doing. So, all right, I'll take that. I'll take that lick and keep on ticking. And I'm going to pray for you and move forward. Forgive them because they know not what they do. They don't even understand coming up against you is coming up against God. And that's a battle. The all-powerful, almighty God. Can't nobody save them. And all this. For what? Because they blinded. So pray for them people. Don't take that stuff personal. Have thick skin. Allow it to roll off you. Understand what it is. And keep moving forward and forgive them. God is all about, you know, let stuff happen. Like, whatever is thrown your way, like, let it bounce off your shoulder. Like, literally, don't take that stuff in. Don't take it to your heart. Because you got to understand, you got to keep your heart pure. You got to keep yourself, your insides clean. Because God has to dwell in a clean place. He can't dwell in unclean mess. So they trying to get you dirty. They're trying to get that bitterness on you. They're trying to get that unforgiveness on you. They're trying to get the things that they're throwing on you in you. So you can turn off that light, which means allow God to leave your presence. Mm -mm. Forgive them because they know not what they do. Do what God called you to do and move forward. So go out and be a light in this world and continue to strive and be all that God is calling you to be. And don't let nobody turn off your light.